So, video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you snapshots. Basically, snapshots are just a snapshot at a certain point in your work. So, maybe you've been like adding a blur effect and you think, right, that's it. I'm going to save a snapshot at that point with that blur. Save it, do some more work, say like other effects, maybe brush strokes, add another snapshot, go on, so on, so on. You can then, if you decide, I ah, don't want those brushes, I don't want those blurs, etc. What you can do, the snapshot takes it back, right back to the point when they weren't there. Now, okay, that doesn't sound really great because you can do that in the history. And there's a history panel there. History panel, you can actually restore, go all the way through back. But say this is maybe many months later. The history isn't saved, unfortunately, with the document. If you save this file as a native format, a Finity Photo file, it doesn't save the history, but it does save these snapshots. So these snapshots are a great way of just going back to some earlier work. Say you've suddenly thought, you know, really, I don't want that blur, I don't want those brushes, but I want, I still want. Of course you could, and you could always do that, just keep saved lots of multiple copies. But it's just nice the fact that snapshots are within the actual document itself. So it's stored with the document. So you can just go back to that document and you can see that record of all your work. So maybe you might keep it for years, you know, might keep loads and loads of snapshots. Right, so what do you want with these snapshots? How do you actually add them and restore them? There's two places, and here's the snapshots panel. And to see that, view, studio, and I'm just gonna go down, snapshots. You can see that there, and that's what you get. And there's also document. Personally, I'm, it's the time you use the document one, but add snapshot and restore snapshot. So you can just say, I'm just gonna go down to a blur. I'm just gonna click there, I wanna restore. And a blur. That's a blur one that I created earlier. So that was stored. That actually was previously before I've obviously closed document, come back into it, and I've got this blur thing. I've got that blur, and maybe I apply another effect. Just go there, and I'm just going to select that. And the background, apply filters, maybe another blur, and click OK. But I don't like that blur. Don't want that. I can actually just go back there and just say restore to that one. So just quickly, obviously you've got the history panel here. It's not such a big deal, but if it's just say like months, months time, you've lost this history, it's not gonna be so convenient, but it's still useful day to day as well. So you can add here as well, or add, let's say up here, give it a name, give it time. You can change the name. You don't have to use just the date and time. You can use like the word blur. You can also restore, restore snapshot. So say you want to restore that one, you can just select that one, or you like to say you can do it here as well. This snapshots panel is quite good for one or two things. It's got the delete feature. So maybe you've got file and maybe certainly it will add more and more to the file. So you might have lots and lots in the snapshot and you might want to clear some down because you think, well, I don't really want those anymore. You can just select them and just delete them just by going there. So you can just add and restore, but you can also delete selected one. And also what you can do, you can create a new document, which is quite useful as well. So maybe you've got some, you've got a lovely blur reflected effect in one of the snapshots and you think, I really wouldn't mind that as a new document. I'm gonna work some more on that, but I'm gonna work on it separate. So I can create a new document and then continue from that. Or you can use that little command there. There's also another option for layer. So you can actually create a layer, new layer from snapshot. And again, you can select one of the snapshots here. So it's just a, just select that. And then you've added a new snapshot layer, add pixels, which hasn't done it there. So I'm just gonna select that, probably would have helped. Go to a there layer from snapshot. And then it's added. And sometimes if you do it, you actually have to select the one. Otherwise it, it will just not do it in the way that you think it will work. So sometimes I, I actually, I quite often, I suddenly go and select something and I don't select something and I'm using it and I think it's not doing anything. Why doesn't it? You actually have to go there and actually make certain, and then you can add it straight up like that. It's much easier just to be certain. What you, I wanted to create a new layer and that was just there. So that's it. So just simply just go to that one. Again, I'll just quickly show you, you can do it. Layer, new layer from snapshot. I'm going to go for the blur one. So, and then you've got the blur one there. And then you can see the blur one. Very, so I'm just going to remove that one because it's, and there's the blur one. So you can actually see the layer now. Put that one back. And of course, what you can do with that once you've actually got those, you can use the usual one through all the various blends as well.
So there's a whole range of different, you can just click, use those just for some very interesting experimentation as well as actually developing some images in a particular way. And of course, once you've actually got a design that you like, you can also quickly just quickly go over there and add a snapshot of that work as well, which is really great. And then use that as a new layer combined with all the others. So I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.